Hello everyone, this is Loic Bruni. I'm Anita Garrick. Hi, I'm Kara Garrick. Hey, I'm Ray Morrison. I'm an Enduro athlete from New Zealand. My name is Yuan Barili. Marco Osborne here. Uh, we're here in uh, Truckee, California. It's uh, Katie Blinton from uh, Trek Factory Racing, hiding out here in New Zealand. We're gone, gals. I'm Martha and I'm Bex. Nailed it. <laughs> Wait, I need to. Um... My favourite trail snack is probably jelly babies. Oh mm. yeah, when you when you're dying. Mm -hmm. I like to go for some some salty sardines. So actually, I never bring a snack, so I'm trying to think. Figs. I really like figs. They've actually got these M's cookie bars out here in um, oh. New Zealand, and they are like a little cake. A little cookie on the bar. Trail. Mm. Yeah, it's a good good treat. I would say a croissant. Wow, I don't even know the name of it. Like, for example, stuff that Rich Chichelet or Brett Hippie did in the past, not really well made, like old school. I like the old school stuff. But there's a few from Trans Provence that have raced probably a couple times. Well, um, my favorite trail is Dirt Merchant. I just love the big jumps and it's uh, such a unique style of trail that we don't really have a lot here in Europe. I think it's Tihi Otawa. Oh, yeah. And it's Rotorua and it drops into Billy T. A trail really long with a lot of different things like going from not so steep to steep, like Endora pretty much, with a lot of jumps, a lot of roots, and good dirt, just loamy dirt everywhere. First of all, let's start off with just down a road so I can do a manual. <laughs> And then it drops straight into a trail. Some nice like step ups and hips, but only left hand hips. Definitely some loam and like muddy ruts. Oh yeah, love a good muddy rut. Actually, you know what? My favorite recovery shape. A nice cool side. Yeah. yeah. Definitely a beer. Of course a beer. Cranked horchata with a little bit of protein in it. But like, usually a cold Modelo would kind of keep things refreshing and nice. My favorite recovery shape. Oh my god. Do you know, I, I really like um, fizzy water with lime. We're from Finn in New Zealand. He was making, like blending coconut milk with protein, like whey protein, with peanut butter and frozen fruits. It was really good. Probably my seat placement. <laughs> it has to be for right height, for right angle. Having tires and equipment that gets you through a race or a long weekend of riding. Yeah. My brakes. Yeah. My brake levers. My front brake bite point has to be closer to the bar than my mm -hmm. back brake bite point. Is when the brake is super hot and super touchy, so you don't have so much space between the moment you start braking and the moment it breaks. Quite far out and um, quite flat. But yeah, I like my brakes really flat and I like when, uh, when they are really uh, touchy, like super far from the grip. Yeah, other than that, just jump on. I'm not really that picky. <laughs> I'll ride anything. My favorite destination to ride is here. Like we don't have to go super far here. We have Pemberton, Whistler, Squamish, North Vancouver. We have Lillouette, like we have everything right there. Switzerland is pretty good riding. Mine's probably a toss up between New Zealand or Whistler. I think Whistler and I love Canizé in Italy. Oh, Whistler every yes. single time. Yes. Every single time. That's my favorite place is Queenstown because you have the lift, so it's super easy to do downhill laps. And then if you want to do enduro, like pedaling ones, you can go to many different places. And it's every time you pedal up, you reach a point where it's paradise, you know? Together we both give back into, like we, that's why we set up Go On, because we want to be able to give back. And we're now at the point where we've got a little bit, not a lot of money, but a little bit of money behind us from selling merch and stuff like that and doing the festival last year. So we're like giving back now. We've just launched an ambassador scheme, which has been really good fun. We've, unfortunately, we're in lockdown, so we can't do much with the six kids that we've started like sponsoring and helping. Yeah. But um, we just sent out them. We just sent a package out to them, like with all go on merch and stuff, like mud huggers and stem caps and a hat and all that kind of thing. And they're buzzing. 
when lockdown's over, we're planning to do like a little photo shoot, video shoot and spend more time with them and kind of hopefully be like a mentoring role to them and help them like at races or whatever they want to do, that kind of thing. I, uh, I kind of, last year I organized like a fundraiser to donate money to, uh, to uh, the trail association in the, in the Sea to Sky Corridor. I'm trying to do my part in maintaining and building new trails in the area. Just kind of being open, I suppose. So if people want to, you know, especially young kids like back home in Scotland, there's a few youngsters that um, I'm trying to help out. It's quite difficult, but just kind of being there. A bit of woodwork kind of i don't know just always been a little bit practical um i really like to go eat like find new restaurants new coffees where i can just hang out with my girlfriend and just have a nice cozy time i love to just get out in the woods adventure drive around dirt roads go camping fishing i think anything where i can get outdoors walking running paddleboarding cooking um I'm actually a chef. Yeah, I'm big into my music. I like to play the guitar and the piano. And I was actually only saying this morning, now we're in lockdown, I really want to buy myself a drum kit. <laughs> um, I paint, actually. I'm proud of having our own team. Being a dad. <laughs> Being the dad of that little blonde girl that's running over there. I'm pretty proud of how far Guan's come. Like... From when we first started it, we literally were just pretty much just us two buzzing on riding bikes, taking videos of each other, uploading it, and then it just kind of snowballed into yeah. such a bigger thing than we ever expected. Recovering from some pretty horrific injuries and managing to get back racing. Be just the fact that I'm still able to ride my bike uh, for a living, travel, get to explore all these new places. I'm scared of horses. Wasps and hornets and bees. <laughs> I think that right now, like what I would be the most scared of is to uh, not follow my heart. I'm scared of uh, hurting myself to a point where I couldn't uh, ride my bike anymore. Maybe like North Star. I've, I'm not like, I'm a little scared of it. I have my last like four of my serious injuries have been there. It's like I'm cursed. And um, falling. I don't like falling from a height, you know, like I don't mind being high up, but I don't like the feeling of falling. That really scares me. Everything just goes by like that and we have not so much, um, like a lot of memories, but it's just so quick. Um, probably for me, I can be pretty shy at times actually. Mm. Yeah, see, your reaction <laughs> exactly. I don't know how many people know this, but I'm actually a qualified physiotherapist. Before I started mountain biking, I was a ski bum, did a snowboard competition once, didn't go too well. Probably, probably that I'm dyslexic. Oh. That's probably something people don't know about me. Wow. And that, um, so writing all my captions and everything is an absolute nightmare. Maybe that I want to make a tattoo, but I've never been, never had balls to do it, <laughs> so I never did it. My knee is, uh, my knee is not well. <laughs> I might, uh, I might need an over surgery at some point. Like my meniscus on the inside of my knee is really up. Like I can't run, mm -hmm. but that's an over uh, year of uh, rehab, and uh, and that will be basically the end of my career. But you know, if I have to do it, I will do it, and. Uh, and it's time for renew. <laughs> Let's be honest. Like, I'm going to be honest with you now. Oh. Even if we weren't together, I may probably still say Max. Anyway. Oh, so cute. What is one of my best friends? One of, yeah. Probably a little bit cheesy, but my husband, Jesse. But I'd say my best friend would probably be Ben Cruz. So I'll just say that my bike is my best friend because we go through a lot together. I'd say Malena, my girlfriend. It's Anita. We spend so much time together. I'm lucky that I have uh, one super cool buddy here, Audric, Audric Lacour. Oh, I had this debate with someone not so long ago. I would probably want to be known as the fastest rider. I think fastest. Yeah, I'd want to be the fastest. 
I would like to be remembered as me, Johan Bailey, for everything I do. Both would be great. That would be nice. Um, I want to win, so I'm happy just to go fast. Uh, definitely more for the fastest rider. Yeah, I wish I was the most stylish rider. <laughs> I wish I was known as this guy. Uh, a skier? Well, I don't really like winter. <laughs> I, I think I'd want to be like a like freestyle skier or something. I think like freestyle skiing. It would probably be surfing. I think I would love to be a famous soccer player. Downhill skiing. Yeah. I always want to be a mountain biker. Mine would be playing the piano. Mine would probably be... <coughs> I like learning new things. To probably do trail work. Actually, it would be trail building because it takes so long and you can just go for the whole afternoon and you don't even see it. You just... And by the time you're done, you're like, oh shit, it's eight. And you know? Or digging, to be fair. I'm digging, like, especially on my own, um, that like, a day can go past super quick. Someone that's really inspiring me is um, Cecile Ravenel. I think I'd say someone like Casey Brown, I reckon, because she's a, a sick person, sick rider, and she's like, I think she's carving her own path in where she wants to go in terms of like racing and riding, and she's just like, completely her own person and not afraid to be so I feel like the person that comes to mind is when I first started mountain biking and there's quite a strong women's um, field in Nelson where I was from and the main one like Anka Martin and she was like I looked up to her because she was you know from my town she was sponsored she was racing internationally like pro so I just kind of she opened the door like for me to realize that I could also, might, I might actually be able to do that. So yeah, I'd say Anka. Wow, there's a bunch of people that inspire me, but I would say Sam Hill from like a racing side, mm. and then a good friend, Mark Weir. Uh, there's like people like uh, Lloyd Bruny or Amory Pierron, like these days, the way they ride their bikes is, is super inspiring. Mm -hmm. Like it's uh, Le Amaury Spiron's run in Léger last year. Like you see him riding and he's on his, on his, he's on the, on the edge all the time, like all the run. It's a uh, wow, you know, like it's ooh, Loic Bruni's run at the World Champs. Like it's like wow, like it's, it's beautiful to watch. And these guys are inspiring. And um, Tracy Mosley, hands down, 100%. <laughs> And I look up to someone in life more than racing. And he's the one I've been working with forever since I'm riding. And he's just managing this whole crisis so well. And every time we have a problem, he's just the best. And he takes so much care of all of the team. So he's pretty inspiring at the moment. And I'm grateful he's, he's there with me. So him. <laughs>